just takes some time. So we're going to walk you through each of the steps that it takes to make this monkey bread, but I promise you it is worth it in the end. It's delicious, it's you delicious. So here's the list of ingredients that you're going to need. You'll need a tablespoon of yeast or one of those small little packets, uh, one and a half cups of warm milk, a third of a cup of butter melted, a quarter of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, two eggs, one teaspoon of salt, and five cups of flour. That's what's going to make your dough. You'll also need some other ingredients. You'll need some things uh, for the, the topping or the ooey goodness on the inside. Uh, you'll need three quarters of a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and three quarters of a cup of butter melted. But we won't use those until later. We need to make our dough first. So we're going to get started with that. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is measure out one and a half cups of milk. And we're going to put this in the microwave for about a minute just to get this warmed up. Ew, microwave milk. I know, but you're not drinking it. It's going to be used for our, for our to make our dough. Okay. So we're, we're going to use our mixer for this as well. And we'll need our hook attachment for this dough. We use this dough. in every single video. We I know, we, we use this mixer a lot. Okay. okay, so while our milk is warming up, we're going to add in here our vanilla. If you want to, if, if you want to know some tips about vanilla, go check out one of our other videos where I explained uh, why you so shouldn't just drink this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Even though it smells good. Yes. So we're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla into our mixer. I don't know that, but if you want to know why, and why you shouldn't drink this. Right. Okay, I want to do the other one. We'll add two eggs. Because it's too hot. How do you kill off the yeast? 
Because if it gets too hot, it will kill it. Wait, so it will die? Mm -hmm. so it won't, it won't rise. Wait, so we're going to make a grip. going to scoop out our butter. Make a nice mess here. All right, stir that together. And then we're going to add two more cups of flour. Notice we haven't even turned our mixer on yet. We're just going to use the mixer for the muscle power here. Yes, because we're not going to waste our hands. Right. So there's three cups and four cups. Stir that up. And then add one more cup. Then you're going to I want to add this. You're going to let this mix for about five to six minutes while this kneads up into a nice dough. We'll come back when that's done. All right. So after your mixer has gone on for about four to five minutes, you will get kind of a sticky dough, and that's okay. Mushy and not floury enough. Don't worry. It will rise just fine. So what I do is I keep this right in the pan. I'm going to take some oil. I'm going to grease half of this pan. Just kind of swish it up along the top. And then I'm going to take my hands and just kind of rub it along the side. Then with my wooden spoon, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Press it down. And then grease up this side. Same way. You'll have to wash off your, your olive oil container. And then you just scoop it up into a ball. Let the oil sit around the outsides of it. And then we're going to cover this and let this sit in our oven for about an hour to rise. Remember to. All right. Okay, it's been about an hour and the dough's finally ready to get out okay. of the oven. Right, you can see that it's double. What we're going to do is punch our dough down. Punch. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we are going to take a little bit of flour out. So our dough's a little bit sticky. Yeah, you don't want it to be too big. Like you know, um, we've cleaned up our surface area from when we first started mixing, so we're going to roll out our dough right here for you. We're going to pour this down on the flour surface. And then we're just going to kind of roll it in the flour a little bit so it loses some of its stickiness. And it will roll out a little bit easier. If we need more flour, use it. doesn't stick. We need more on the bottom. Put a little more on the bottom. Simple enough. Here, come on the way screen. Alright, move the ingredients a little bit. Wait, is this like a, it's a, it's a donut case. It's a donut. Yep, for this you're going to need what's called a bunt pan. A donut. It's not a donut. It's, it's a, a donut. Bunt. There's a hole right there, <laughs> and then there's a round. I guess it does kind of look like a donut. It's a donut. Right. That looks donut. going to take a rolling pin and just roll this out yeah, I think it's a donut into a big rectangle. Is it like, is it like this what they used for like those Barbie cakes? They use this in the pan? The um, no, I use, a, I use a glass pan, a glass pan for that. Okay. So this is going to take quite a bit of counter room for you. Alright, so you're just going to roll out your dough into a rectangle. Then we are going to put a little bit of this butter over top of it. Just kind of spread it around just a little bit of our melted butter. Oh, that's what we did. So what I did, I took about a cup or a, a stick of butter and melted that. We're going to use that. Okay, so we're going to measure out our sugar and cinnamon topping. So what you need is three. Sugar and cinnamon. It's not, it's not, it sounds so good. Three quarters of a cup of sugar into a bowl. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. It is. Sure. And we need one tablespoon uh, of cinnamon. I want to take a minute. Okay, over here then. Go ahead. Uh, I buy my cinnamon in bulk. That's why it's in this container like this. What, what's bulk? In bigger quantities. Uh, okay, so we're just going to stir the cinnamon and sugar up a little bit. Oh my gosh, that looks something like that. Now we're going to need some gingerbread. Yeah, it looks delicious. Okay, all you're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit oh. over top of your dough. I'm not worried. I'm going to show you how we're going to use the rest of it. 
I have this clever little gadget here to help me make um, the same what size is squares. That for cutting popcorn? Yeah, cutting pasta or that, different things. Is that for cutting six pieces at a time? I guess. If you don't have one of these, you could just use a pizza cutter. Um, but what we're going to do is make squares. Wow. You mean strips? Yeah. But, well, first strips and then squares. See how clever that works? And then we're going to go this way. Oh, so you're making cubes. Yep. These are like one inch squares. Wow. Uh, why why are we going to make cubes? Because what we're going to do now is take each one of these, roll it up into a little ball, and put it in the cinnamon and sugar. That's going to take a while. Well, while you're doing that, um, you're first going to uh, grease your bunch pan. I have this big easy stuff. Just greasing it with butter works just fine as well. Um, so what we're going to do, I'll just show you one here. You're going to take each of these circle balls, roll it in the cinnamon and sugar, and then put it in the bottom of your bundt pan. So we're going to do a layer of these like this, and then I'll come back and show you how to do the second layer. Okay, so after you've rolled about, um, oh, I did about three strips of the dough, uh, that will be enough to cover one layer of your pan. So now what you're going to do... Like dough balls or no, dough. Little, little dough balls, that's what they kind of are. What you're going to do is take about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I mean, they probably going to go well with nacho cheese. No, these are, these are sweet dough balls. Yeah. Okay, so this brown sugar, what we're going to do is layer little bits of this on top of each row of our dough balls. I don't see that. So here, take a little bit, your hands are clean. We're going to uh, sprinkle some brown sugar on the top of each layer of these dough balls. Okay, so then um, after you've sprinkled some brown sugar on top, we're going to add another layer, a little bit of melted butter and some brown sugar. I'll put, I'll put a little bit of the melted butter in over top of this. Just kind of do a spoonful over top of that. And you're going to repeat this. It's probably going to take three or four layers of just of doing this. So once you get one more layer, you do the same thing. We'll be back after we have completed each of these layers. Okay, so I have four layers of the little cinnamon sugar dough balls into this bunk pan. The last step is to take any remaining brown sugar that you have, put it over top of the top of the dough balls, Top, on top. Of the okay, top, top. top. Okay, and then take any remaining butter that you have and, it. and just kind of drizzle that around the top. We'll join you back here in about 30 minutes when this is done. Baking. All right, so it's been about 30 to 31 minutes or so. We're going to pull our bread out of the wow. oven. Look how much that's expanded. Oh, doesn't that look good? Yeah, good. All right, so what we're going to do now is take our butter knife and just kind of run it along the edge of your pan just to loosen this up a little bit. Now we've got a serving plate out. Oh. We're going to put the plate, kind of a small plate, I guess, on top. And then we're going to flip it over and reveal we're going to put about a cup of powdered sugar in a bowl and then about a tablespoon or so of milk. Just run that together. Really, you can't mess this up. If it gets too runny for you, add a little more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, like ours is a little thick, add a little more milk. What we're doing is making a little glaze for the top. And what we're doing is eating not healthy Yeah, this looks delicious though. This is going to be a delicious treat. Okay, so we've made just a little glaze now for the top of this. You're just gonna take your spoon and just drizzle that. So over. that's what your glaze is made of. We are now going to enjoy our monkey bread.